All right, good morning. So today I'm opening up a new product. It's the Skin Vigorate Sonic Brush, and I ha I have our uh, former model spin brush, but I've been selling these to people, and I I want one for myself. So I I think I earned it this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unbox this. And it's a it's a skin brush that you can use to, and it comes with like a little instruction, but it's a spin brush that you can use to uh, clean your face with, and it's, a, it's rechargeable, so I'm excited about that, and that's part of like the reason why I decided to treat myself to it, because my old brush, uh, the battery died today, and I didn't have any batteries in the house, so I'm like, I'm getting ready to get this ultrasonic brush out, and charge it. And I just realized I don't have a, oh, I see my portable charger. I don't have a charger, but it's got a USB port on it, mini USB. And I'm just going to put this in here. And I'm going to snap the head right on. And I need to grab this uh, charger this charging port because I didn't bring one over here with me. Imagine that. Let's see. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to connect it with my portable charger. There we go. So I just, I got it. <laughs> so that's neat. So it's charging up and it's got power. So I'm gonna let that charge up. But it's neat because it comes with a, a facial massage head. That's also a part of it. So the facial massage head, and it kind of snaps on the same place as the, uh, the brush. So it's rechargeable. And let's see. And it, it vibrates. And it has two speeds, so I'm going to cut it off and pop this head off. And then I'm going to put this massage head on. I'm going to power it back on. Oh, that feels pretty good. So I guess I would use it here. And then just facial massage. It's really important to massage your face too because if you want a healthy looking skin, then you should stimulate the uh you should stimulate the blood flow in your face so awesome so that's got a facial massage attachment on there but what i was going to use it for this morning is to do my little facial cleanser because i'm telling y'all i get up early and uh i need to do my face and stuff when i get up because somebody always calling for something and I'm never ready to go out. And I love, love, love this foam and cleanser. So I'm just going to wet the head of the brush. And then I'm just going to put a little foam and cleanser on there. And a brush like this will help your cleansing products go a lot faster. Because the brush alone, it helps uh, to remove like 85% more of the dead skin and dirt that's on your face. And then I'm gonna just wet it. And I probably need to put a little more cleanser on there, but you can kind of judge and just add it in. Cause you don't you don't want to waste your product. Here we go. And it's really important, y'all, to cleanse your skin twice a day. So I cleanse twice a day. Um, definitely after you've been out all day, cause think about it while you out running around from here to there and running around and look at the cars and, 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 and the buildings and even the homes and look at the stuff that's falling out of the sky and settling on those places. And this is really neat too, cause it's vibrating and it is like massaging my face too, but 
all of that stuff that's falling out of these homes and st uh, I mean out of the sky is settling on your skin. So a lot of times you think something broke you out and did this and that. Oh, I use this and broke. Well, actually, it's the free radicals that have fallen out of the air and they living and preying on your skin. They're microscopic, so a lot of times you can't see it, whatever it is, but you need to take the time to uh, give yourself a good facial cleanser at least twice a day. And I know like, people are like, oh, I ain't got time for that, but I don't know. Don't you wash your face anyway? I don't understand that. Just keep it, like the cleanser that you use, keep it even in the shower or keep it like in your bathroom near the sink so when you get up and you brushing your teeth then you ought to like cleanse your skin and get that dead skin off so i'm giving myself a chance because if i don't get the dead skin off and remove it thank you robin if i don't get the dead skin off and remove it it's going to fall into my pores and it's going to mix with dirt and oil and sweat. Because I know y'all working and y'all doing something during the day. It's going to mix with dirt, oil, and sweat. And then it's going to clog and it's going to cause uh, blemishes. Because a lot of times a blemish is just buildup that's in that pore. So if you have like a charcoal mask or something that's extracting it, then you can get that blemish out of your face but we need to get into the habit of cleansing our skin and preparing for the long haul because i'm telling you all of this stuff all it's doing is adding to the aging process so i love this this is awesome the hair is a lot bigger than the other one this is awesome and i, I i've been deserving it for months but i just I've, I've been putting it off but today when my batteries ran out on the other one I said I'm getting a spin brush. So that's it. And then I love this foam and cleanser because it seems like to me it also tones my skin. And we need that. So I'm going to break that head off and just uh, soak it in the water. And then I'm going to rinse this off. But y'all, I'm telling you, we run around and we do so much for other people. But we don't take the time to do what we need to for ourselves and life is short and i know you heard the cliche you cannot pour from an empty cup so guess what i do i'm going to take the time to get up in the morning and i'm going to evaluate what's important to me what are the six most important things i need to accomplish today because my day can't just be all uh, what how would cedric say it all uh, willy-nilly i need to know and have a focus on what I need to accomplish because I'm trying to get somewhere. Y'all, I'm not, I, keep, I say this every day. I, if I get on here and I talk to you, or if I talk to you, and if I meet you in public, or we run into each other, or we just happen to have a by chance conversation, I'm telling y'all, I stalled myself on my dreams too long. And so I'm, I'm up with a purpose. So six most important things I gotta do today. And in those six most important things, is one of them is to take care of myself is to make sure that I am gonna have the best presentation possible when I'm out and about doing what I'm doing and, and that's important I don't care what you call it vainness whatever but it's selfish but whoever told you it was wrong to be selfish they were wrong because I'm telling you if if I ran around all day to do everything for everybody else by the end of my lifespan I'm not going to accomplish anything for myself. I'm going to be stressed. I'm going to be burdened down. And most of all in that, I'm not going to be happy. So right now, I'm just doing a little microderm abrasion. And microderm abrasion, what that is, is it's a exfoliant to like, I don't know, the exponential power of a thousand. And what it's doing is... It's making sure that whatever I didn't get in my cleansing process, it's breaking off that dead skin. So I'm also getting a facial massage. So you will feel this product. It's like gritty. And it's designed to help rub off that dead skin. So I'm just doing that right quick. And I think a microderm abrasion treatment in a salon could cost you anywhere from, I don't know, maybe $50 to $100. 
So I actually save a lot of money by doing microdermal abrasion myself. And it's something that I might do once or twice a week. And then sometimes you, I guess you don't even have to do it that often. It depends on, on what your skin is like. I know at this time of the year with the wind and the cold temperatures, I know a lot of people have chapped skin. Uh, Abigail, which 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 product are we talking about? The uh the spin brush. I tell you what, I uh I'll get with you after the uh broadcast. If you uh put your phone number in, I can text you or call you. Cause if you get two, I can work with you on that. But you definitely need this. It's it's awesome. And uh, the head is detachable, so it makes it easy to clean. And then the head probably has a, a, a life of six months of daily use. So if you don't use a brush every day, it's definitely going to last longer than that. But we have replacement heads. So you don't have to get a whole new brush when it's time to replace the head. It just snaps on and off. And so I cleansed off that, that microderm abrasion. You can feel it. My skin feels so soft. And then if you look at my skin, I'm, I'm like 52 years old. And I've been using the eye patches. And I can tell that the puffiness is going away from my eyes. And it's drawing out that darkness. So I'm excited about the products. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm a Mary Kay. I'm a Mary Kay junkie. I, I've been using Mary Kay for over 30 years. And I've been involved as a consultant this i started in 2015 so i have five years of august i'm excited about that so what i'm doing now is i'm just gonna clean off uh i i'm gonna clean off any excess eye product that i had on from yesterday because i use eyeliner i use mascara and i use look see and i use uh brow products so I'm just uh, using this uh, liquid free, it's oil free liquid eye makeup remover and it is the bomb. And you can clean your lashes with it. You can just put it like a little in a dish and it'll, it'll clean the glue off of your lashes and the mascara off your lashes. But it's so important y'all, I'm telling y'all. I don't care what kind of product you use, what kind of makeup you use. It is so important to cleanse that stuff off of your skin. When you use it, Cause some people apply a lot of makeup and they apply a lot of makeup to cover like blemishes or uh, other imperfections that they have on their skin. And, and it's really important that you use a product that's going to clean that off. And I'll just show you this. The only thing that's on my pad is the eye product i don't even see any of the foundation on there and that's because my my brush that i use it thoroughly cleans my skin off and now that my skin is clean i'm just going to uh before i put any more products on it i'm just hit that little facial massage like, <laughs> only because i deserve it i deserve it hallelujah thank you jesus for giving me a mindset to take the time to care for my needs. So yeah, this is this works and it is really good for tension. So if you want to use it on your neck and your shoulder area, then that's fine. There we go. So I'll just do a little facial massage. And um, now that I've uh, done my microderm abrasion, I'm going to do like a little pore reducer. And what that's going to do is going to help with wrinkles and fine lines. Um, so I scrubbed off the dead skin. And these two things come in, in the set. The microderm abrasion and the pore reducer. So I'm going to just use a little product. Really don't take much. And then I like to take it and put it around there. I'm going to tell you too. I'm going to give y'all a tip. Because I see a lot of people do this when I have skincare classes. When you, when you get the product out of the container don't rub your hands together because when you do that then the majority of the product is going to end up on your hands and not on your face and th these products uh we we spend too much money on fine quality skincare products to waste them so just remember that and then and don't rub and pull down but you want to rub upward 
because gravity is already going to kick in. And so now what that's going to do, and you can actually feel it, is going to make my skin feel more tight and youthful. And then uh, I, I'm going to do a lifting serum because I'm getting older and I'm trying to work on this. And I see that's starting to look a little better because i got to be more committed about how often I'm doing this stuff. And I'm just going to do a little lifting serum. And you can, oh, it smells wonderful, but you, but you can feel the spirits in there uh, as they invigorate your skin. So I'm just going to rub that down in my neck area. It's really important that you moisturize that area. And then I'm just going to rub it. And I didn't use much product because it does not take, when you have a good quality skincare, it does not take a lot to get good results. There we go. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some eye cream on. And that's like titanium. Like squeeze a little of the eye cream out. And then I'm just putting it on my uh, on my bone area right here under my eye. And then over here on the side. And what I'm being careful is not to get any of this in my eye opening. Because if I get it in my eye opening, it's going to burn and irritate. And it is definitely not designed to go inside your eye opening. So, the product line I'm using today is designed for women that are uh, 40 plus. Or for women who have advanced signs of aging. And so, um, I'm in that I'm in that range of people now. And then this is my day cream. And y'all... I love this day cream because it is really rich and it does not take a lot and see how remember don't when you get your skincare product don't rub your hands together but put a small amount and I would say use the back of your pinky because it doesn't take that much put a little dot on the back of your pinky and then hit these four areas your cheek your forehead your chin you can even go to your nose and then work the product from there I think I got a little bit too much moisturizer. So I got to work on that. Make sure I'm taking it to my neck area. And I put it on the back of my neck too because the day cream has sunscreen in it. And the importance of the sunscreen is to block the sun's rays from your face. Because what happens when you expose your skin to the sun is that the sun burns you in different places. So you will see that you have uneven skin tone. So I got that. I've done my, I did a lifting serum. I put my eye treatment on. Uh, I did my pore reducer after I did the microdermabrasion scrub. And I like to send that microdermabrasion to all my customers uh, because it is just so awesome. I try to, when you order uh, products from me and I have to ship them. Then I try to uh, put that product in there. And then I, I do it, too, for uh, the customers around locally. Now, what I'm going to do now is, because I wear matte lipsticks, or just because, I'm going to do a little uh, exfoliation to my lips with this uh, satin lips. And squeeze a little out. It's a sugar scrub. And then I'm just going to take it. And I use my finger to apply it and also to actually do the exfoliation. Or you could actually do the, like uh, exfoliating by rubbing your lips together and then what that's going to do is it's going to condition your lips by removing any dry or dead skin that you might have. And it also will make your lip gloss, your lipstick, it'll make all of that stuff wear a lot better. And if you don't wear lip gloss or lipstick, this is still good to exfoliate your lips. Well, uh, if you use like the, the, okay, so we have two skincare regimens. Uh, our main skincare regimen, which you used before, is the TimeWise 3D. And, and that retails for $110, like $117 with tax. Uh, the set that I'm using is a more advanced set, and 
it is the time wise repair which is geared for women over 40 and in that set you actually get uh, an additional product over the 3d which is going to be the lifting serum and then the volume of product is a little bit more uh, i don't exactly have a, a, the ounces on me but you get the cleanser which is the foaming cleanser which has like the toning properties in it you get the day cream with the sunscreen you get the night cream that has a retinol and the night cream is really good with the retinol because it like it corrects and repairs and it antioxidizes it adds it, it oxidizes the pores it, it, what I'm saying is that it adds antioxidants and it also repairs helps to tighten your skin and then uh, there's the eye cream so that full set is like uh, I know it's 205 is the MSRP now it, you have to add tax to that and uh, if you use it correctly it could last you anywhere from six months to a year and it depends on how much product you dispense so like if you use the fingertip method like I said then I'm definitely gonna say it's gonna last you anywhere from seven months to a year because it depends on how, how big your fingertip is but if you squeeze it out willy-nilly it's probably gonna last you anywhere from three to six months but the product is designed to last for a year and it is really good top quality skincare so I've done that and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wipe that scrub off my lip and then I'm gonna put a softening balm which comes in the lip set and I'm just gonna put a little on um, cuz y'all I'm telling you I, I squeeze out way too much product and and the quality of these products is top-notch and I'll tell you one other thing too the products that I'm using are backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal of Approval. And that says a lot. And if you don't know anything about Good Housekeeping, they stand behind these companies that offer these products. And what they'll do is if the if the company, which you never have to worry about that, we, uh, we have a satisfaction guarantee process, uh, policy. If the company does not make it right, then Good Housekeeping will. So... Uh, a lot of our products, our skincare, this set that I'm using, the Time Wise 3D, and the uh, a lot of the lipsticks and the foundations have earned a good housekeeping seal of approval. And you can see that when you browse down through a website. So, yes, I, I recommend this, Shana. And, uh, and you can see how big the jars are. I don't have 3D up here, but you get way more product in the repair set and the properties and the value of what it will do even if I'm not 40 years old it's, it's recommended but I'm 52 and my skin is nice and tight and uh, it's improving in here with those eye patches I love that and then uh, just, just everything that I do and remember I was just saying you gotta take the time to Take care of you because I'm telling you that clock is ticking it's ticking 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 and we really don't have that much life left because when you think about 70 or 100 it's not a lot and I think what we promised like three score and ten that's 70 years so if I only have 70 September's and I'm already at 52 <laughs> Lord, how did I get 52 years old? It's a blessing. I know that. It is a blessing. Because every day, I see a lot of the youth of this world are uh, having a hard time dealing with today's pressure. Pressure. Some things that they shouldn't even have to be worried about. And my family, my heart goes out to the family of the young man that had just signed with Georgia Tech. And they said that he committed suicide. Because he was struggling with issues over homelessness. And you think, thank you, thank you, girl, I have made a transition. I should post some pictures. And I know people get, get tired of my pictures, but y'all don't understand, like, where I came from to where I am today. I mean, I have lost over 130 pounds. Thank you, Jesus. And I have not only that, but just my self-care has gone to a level that I just, I'm, I'm just amazed at how these products 
and becoming a part of this company has changed my life. It really has. And oh my God, if y'all don't know, on New Year's Day, I had a phenomenal day in my business. And I just want to thank my customers. I want to shout out to my new team member, Cynthia Montgomery. I mean, God is just only beginning to open doors for me. He's opened the doors. I'm not even going to say that. He opened the doors the day I was born. But I had to realize what and who I was and what and I was supposed to achieve in life and just stand up and walk in it. I had to just stand up and walk in it. Lord Jesus. I see so many people talking about they waiting on God to get him a sign. And he already gave you a sign. If you don't know, faith is the evidence of things unseen. So that means that you're not going to be able to see what's going to happen at the end. But you have to run on and see what the end is going to be. If I never get up, if I, if I sit down and wait, then it's just not going to happen. And things have truly, truly happened. I have met some amazing people, and I get some support by some of those amazing people. So I just, I really, I'm thankful for this company. I'm thankful for these products. I'm thankful for people like you, Shauna, that are loyal and that encourage me. I, I, I really appreciate you on that. And girl, we got to go back to work in a couple of days. <laughs> Y'all, look, I have been off work since uh, December the 20th. I've been off work since December the twentieth. You know what? I'm I'm about ready to do that too. Step out on faith. It's, I'm building it up. Lord, I'm building it up. Fill this tabernacle and purify our heart. But you know what? It, I've been off since December the twentieth, and I still don't want to go back to work. I don't want to go back to work. Lord, have mercy. Some people just spoil. Out, out, outright, flat out. I'm spoiled. I do not want to go back to work, but I'm going, and I, I really believe I don't have to, but I am. <laughs> I am, but my business is growing. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the people that you put in my path. Thank you, Lord, for uh, giving me the courage to move past when everything doesn't. Uh, you know, when, when I reach out and, and they tell me no, and it's okay. Because I know there are plenty of other products out there. I know there are a lot of people who don't realize uh, that they're worth. And I know a lot of people who don't want to receive you when you come to them with different ideas uh, about change. And that's okay. It's okay. But what to me means is if somebody tells me no or if I'm rejected, it shows me that I'm working. Because if I wasn't working, I wouldn't be getting rejected. And and, and, and and that I realize that there's going to be another opportunity that presents itself if I continue to go after what I'm trying to achieve. And I'm definitely trying to achieve. So I, I, I thank God for this business. Because yes, it has. And I have made a change. Lord have mercy. I pull up some of them uh, pictures. And you're like, oh, she posting them pictures again, but y'all just, y'all don't know what. Well, some of y'all do, though, because we've been friends, and I've been hearing my family and my friends be like, oh, my God, it's so good to have the old you back. And, and, and it's so easy to lose yourself. It's easy to lose yourself. It's easy to lose yourself and not realize that you lost yourself, to become complacent, comfortable. And this is the year that I want to be uncomfortable every second of every minute. And somebody says through that discomfort is where your success or your prosperity lies. Through the door that you have to force your way into. The door that you have to make yourself walk through. And so I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. And hey, good morning, Janie. I am ready, girl. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for you to tell me, no, nah, that's okay. I don't do Mary Kay. Okay, well, okay. I'm I'm fine with that. But why not just give it a try? Because I'm out here with my stuff. It's free and ain't costing you nothing. And honestly, look at me. I don't even have my makeup on. And I, my skin is 
nice and tight. And then I tell y'all, I was 52 years old. It's amazing. I got freckles. And and actually, they, they, they age spots. And a lot of them have spread before I started using sunscreen. And sunscreen will prevent these from spreading. But overall, uh, the the condition of my skin, I could put a check mark by the great box. Because I feel like, you know, that's what it is. It is great. It is. It is great. It's magnificent because I use these great and magnificent products. And then, you know what? Today, I'm telling you now, I'm going to buy myself some new concealer. And guess what? I'm going to buy it for myself. So it's right here because I get all my fabulous products delivered right to the door. I don't have to run around and, and go to the counter at these stores, park my car. Well, and it's okay to go to the mall, but at least when I'm in the mall, uh, beauty and, and skincare is not an issue for me because I know I can pick out my favorites and they'll be delivered right to my door whenever I want them and at wholesale cost. There we go. I just put a little um, concealer on my lid and then I'm going to set that with some translucent powder. I'm learning. I'm learning about this stuff, y'all. I a lot of it out. I'm a rookie out here at this. And some of my friends are very good. And they can put this makeup on and, and, and they can make it do wonderful things. But you know what? I love YouTube. So not knowing how to do something wasn't a barrier for me. I, it was change I needed. So when you're hungry enough for stuff, you're going to go after it. And then I'm learning on the fly. So I tune in to a lot of people that I know that are doing the same thing and I'm learning from from what they do how I'm going to uh, be able to make that transition or or I'm going to be able to skill myself up my knowledge level is going to change it's amazing how you can lose something that's like right in your face and then my next thing to conquer are these brushes and I don't have my glasses on, but what I like about our brushes is on the handle, it tells you what it's supposed to be used for. So, like, it'll be like a little label on here that's going to tell you exactly what you use this brush for. And right now, I'm just not to that level in my career on makeup. <laughs> I got a brush. Y'all, I'm telling you, you don't have to be an expert. But what you have to be is willing to try. And I'm telling you, it's just like put one foot in front of the other when a baby begins to walk. At first, he he crawls. And then he, once he, he he's master crawling or she, they master crawling, then they start to try to pull up on stuff. Then once they pull up, then they try to take a step and they might fall. Then they try to take another step and they might fall. Until eventually they put one foot in front of the other and then walking is second nature to them. And then after they start walking, they begin to run. So I think a lot of the problem with us is that we get stuck on what we can't do. And I'm going to tell you, I'm talking to people, and what I learned is if you believe you can't do it, I, I believe you too. And, and I hate that because I know some people who couldn't do it, like me, that continued to work on doing it. And then they became qualified. They might not be the master of the game, but they became qualified to talk about the game and to help people begin to level up and learn the game. And so that's, that's where I'm at. And I thank God, I'm telling you, 2020, if I hear one more person tell me this my year, I'm going to run. I already been shouting. Because, you know, God has been so good to me. I ain't going to lie. I done been from the, from the top to the bottom. And even going through a storm. I'm going through them all the time. One thing about a storm, it's going to go away. It's going to come back. We're going to have more than one storm in our life. It was a storm yesterday. And I think it was a storm 
I mean, was it Sunday? Then the clouds went away, the sun came out, and guess what? The clouds came back, the thunder came back. But that's, I think what people be confused is, you know, they pray. I'm praying, Lord, 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 bless me, increase me. I need more patience. I need more. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna give you what you need. But he not gonna just sit it down like, okay, here go your plate with your steak and potatoes. You want butter and sour cream on that? He, he not gonna do that. You gonna have to go out. You gonna have to kill the cow. You gonna have to stake them up. You gonna have to tenderize him, season him, cook him. I'm just saying he not gonna set it down. That's right. We we make it through the storm. And when we do, we are better for it. We have learned. We have gained. We have been blessed. And guess what? I think the biggest thing on, on all of that is it makes us appreciate. Appreciate all that we've been through. And if you don't appreciate all that you've been through, then you ain't been through enough. So... Anytime you have an opportunity to do something, you should explore it. And and don't shut down because you don't exactly know what the end is going to be. Or you don't exactly know how to do everything that you're getting yourself into. But we have to learn. And we have to be willing to change. And we have to be willing to be coached. We need to connect with people who are successful at what we're trying to do so we can learn from them. What they call that benchmarking. These OEM, these large companies, Alagapi, remember that? We learned that in economics. They benchmark. So they already up. They might employ hundreds of thousands of people. But they still go on to places to find out how they can improve, how they can evolve. How is this this entity successful what are they doing and guess what those places where they going they doing something called sharing so if you're not willing to share then it's going to be hard for you to be blessed i'm just i'm just saying i'm i'm just saying really feel me on this hear me on it even if you don't believe me after we get off of this, take a look around and look up benchmarking. Find out what that means. Chick-fil-A. They're not open on Sunday. They lead in the world. They have the best customer service. And then that chicken sandwich deal. <laughs> I'm still laughing at that because I go to Chick-fil-A way before... The chicken sandwich battle started and see that they had lines wrapped around the building. Double lines moving through. And if it gets too hectic, then they send people out with iPads or whatever they using to take orders and process those orders. They gonna keep it moving at all costs. They continue to evade, to evolve. They continue to change. So, don't be afraid of what you don't know. I think you should be more afraid on the chances that you're not willing to take. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I think. I know I'm going to take my chances. I, I have to. I have to, yeah, so. That's, that's basically what... That's basically what uh, I popped in and said. And I probably started doing this on my business page. I just, it had been so long since I, I went live and that I put my presence out here for, for me, that I have goals that depend on me connecting with other people. So I'm just trying to get myself back in the game. And I'm getting ready for a day. I don't know what's going to happen today. I, I, I think I'm going up to Batesville. I ain't been up there since last year. Ah. Here we go.
They kind of look kind of. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not a brow expert, but I'm learning. Yeah, and I just put on some, some primer because I take all this time to cleanse my skin and, and get it in a healthy situation. So I need to make sure that I prime it so that I can protect my pores. And then it'll help the uh, uh, makeup that I put on look smoother. And then this is just a little corrector that I put on to kind of help cover up any imperfections. And then I saw I dropped my blender line. Which I need to clean <laughs> on Friday. Today I guess I'll wash my brushes because I'm a, I'm a little early. I'm ready early. So I just wanted to be ready in case I had to run out because I know on the weekend people tend to call because they wait when they run out of product. All right, thanks for commenting and tuning in. And I know I'll be hearing from you when you need something. And have a good day. Here we go. Yeah. And I got to get another color for my uh, highlighting. Because the color that I'm using is been phased out. But I'm just going to work with it until it's done. hop out of here I appreciate the comments the feedbacks and the likes and just remember have faith be willing to, to learn what you don't know make a decision whether it's yes or no make a decision and definitely take some time for you in the morning to evaluate where you're going and what you're trying to accomplish in the day. Have a